Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10, according to Microsoft, is reaching its end of support tomorrow on the 14th of October. And with that very fast approaching end of support now, basically in its final hours, Microsoft has announced over on its Windows Health Dashboard website another end of support deadline. And this time it's for Windows 11 version 23H2, which was the... 2023 annual update that rolled out in the latter half of 2023 and microsoft issued this reminder if we head back to the calendar microsoft issued this reminder on saturday which was the 11th and that's exactly one month until windows 11 23h2 will reach its end of servicing according to microsoft november the 11th that's the final patch tuesday update for Windows 11 version 23H2 Home and Professional. Just take note though that commercial editions will continue receiving updates for one more year. And I'll explain why. Now, if we head over to the Microsoft website, Microsoft says Windows 11 Home and Pro version 23H2 will reach the end of updates on November 11, 2025. This version was released in October 2023 as mentioned. This edition will no longer receive security updates after that date. Customers who contact Microsoft support after this date will be directed to update their device to the latest version of Windows 11 to remain supported. And in case you're unaware, your Home Pro and Pro for Workstations get 24 months of support. And your Enterprise and Education editions get 36 months of support. That's why those have got one extra year on 23H2. And if you are still running 23H2, I'm sure by now, if we head over to our Windows Update page, you will see an update for either version 24H2 or 25H2. Now, both versions, 24H2 and 25H2, are basically under the same servicing branch because 25H2 was built on top of 24H2. And just on a quick side note, since updating to 25H2, I have found that this Windows 11 device is a lot more stable than it was on version 24H2. Um, just on another quick side note, my screen recorder used to crash on a very regular basis, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, and it hardly crashes anymore, if ever, since updating to 25H2. So, and I do recommend if you are still using 24H2 and are still experiencing quite a lot of issues, try upgrading to 25H2. You can always roll back if it's um, not doing it for you. But nonetheless, just quick side note, 25H2 is a lot more stable for me personally. So getting back to 23H2, you will see a banner here on this page to update to either of those versions. And for whatever reason, if you do not know what version of Windows 11 you are running, you can just head to your search you enter WinVer, W-I-N-V-R, Win version. Hit enter, and yeah, you'll see the version you're running. I'm running version 25H2, and if you're still on 23H2, you'll see 23H2 there. So it's time to make a plan, obviously, according to Microsoft, to update to a newer version due to that upcoming fast approaching end of support of Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.